Hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amora coming to you with your countdown video, Leos. This is a countdown video. We're going to keep it short and sweet, Leos. Let's go. We only are two days away from this new moon, new you, new moon, new moon, new phase. And uh, some people celebrate this first new moon of the new year as the, act of, you know, the actual new year. So happy new year to each and every one of you all. The moon at the time of filming is in Sagittarius. And it will be moving in to Capricorn. Sagittarius, um, the moon in Sagittarius is all about aiming high, right? Aiming high. Here we have the four of wands. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders as you continue to move on from some things as you're celebrating new and uh, exuberant love. Here we have the ace of cups. Here we also have the king of pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is financial independence. We also have the Four of Pentacles. And then we also have the King of Swords, right? So somebody is definitely feeling like a, a new and exuberant love, like as something is being released from your shoulders, right? <clears throat> the, you're, you're saying this is no longer my responsibility. I'm moving on from it, right? So that's where... Somebody is really at a turning point. So here, it should go both ways, right? So the number two is a number of peace, right? A person, when you think about the number two, think about peace, right? So the, the number two looks like a person who is bowing to the left to a, in the direction of the number one, right? So the innate desire is to merge with another, to join with them, to create peace is very powerful, right? And so... Um, your desire to create peace with energies that may have landed on the dark side of the number two, trying to disrupt your peace, um, is now moving forward. You're saying, okay, I'm not going to align myself. The new me is not going to align myself with energies who try to disrupt my peace in any way, shape, form, or fashion, right? So moving forward, I'm looking at, like I said, somebody is celebrating something. And here we have also the Ace of Cups, the King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Which is interesting about this right here is a Nine of Pentacles, right? So this has to do with time slash money. So the number nine, the light side is, okay, now, now that something has ended, um, my clairvoyance and my psychic abilities have increased. That's the light side of the number nine. But the dark side of the number nine is someone who is egotistical and like like the shape of a number nine, big headed, right? So the uh, dark side, tyrannical, upset, whatever. So the more and more you think about it, that's why source is saying be conservative with your time. The number four, recognize, hey, things happen in life. I can move on beyond something. I can just move on, right? That's the light side of the number four. I'm still a divine being of light who just had a human experience, you know, um, um, it's not, it's not always about winning or losing in an earthly sense, but it's really about why source allowed this to happen so that I can somehow use it to help better people's lives, change other people's lives for the better, including your own to start with. Right. So source doesn't want you to overthink something. I see somebody, you know, because if so, if you have a new and exuberant love coming in your life and you're still focusing on something else it really cuts it in half, right? So instead of this being you getting closer and closer to the king of pentacles quickly, you're still focusing on, fixated on what cut into your time. Some, this is a waste of time for me, such and such. Your words create your reality. So on your throne, you know you're smart enough to say, okay, I know that my words create my, my, my words and my thoughts create my reality. So I need to toss all of that into a fire. I need to cleanse by fire. So, yep. So something is no longer your responsibility. You're able to move on from some things and enjoy life. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. Here we also have the strong, the strength card, the eight of swords, the seven of wands, the seven of cups, the six of cups, and also the sun card. Here we have the strength card and also the sun card. Um, I definitely see that you're away from energies that cause you to be reactive and focusing on your purpose, focusing on your light, right? But there's definitely some temptation to vibrate on a lower frequency. Keep your vibrations high. You got a lot of blessings that's trying to come in because otherwise you're, it's like you're putting yourself in some kind of a mental prison. 
stressed out, overthinking things. Now your creativity is drying up. That's why I said these two cards right here are very important. Source is saying to you, this is what you're moving towards, financial independence. But if you're not conservative with your time slash money, since this is the year of wealth, somebody should say, I'm leaving all of that in the last cycle. Not just in the last year, but in the last cycle. I need to come off of being fixated on things and being reactive, right? I know how to tap into my strength and be meek. And not show any weakness on the outside of myself that I got to react to everything. Here we also have the seven of wands. I see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without even coming across as defensive and operating in faith moving forward. That is what I have for you all. Again, peace should be paramount. That should be something that moving forward. I'm only trying to add to my peace and not trying to take away from my peace. And if I come in contact with energies that's trying to disrupt my peace in any way, shape, form, or fashion, I'm actually bringing that into my year of wealth. Remember, um, a large portion of 2024, at least over 150 days, which is a large portion of 2024, Pluto will be retrograde. And um, Pluto is an outer planet. It's a generational planet. And it's a planet that'll cause you to have an emotional roller coaster about things. So, um, you celebrating new love, it's just like I said before, these two cards right here are going to be very telling of a lot of things and how fast you get to, like, really, really what type of year you have. These cards right here. So, that's what I have for you, Leos. I will see you all on uh, tomorrow. Bye.